it's just cutting disastrous on daily basis. William and Kat decided that, you know what, it's going to be us. And yes, they got all the attention. They got whole, almost all magazines just having them in question. Having them part of their front cover pages of magazines. Like they literally have what they've so much longed for. But it's also kind of, you know, I don't know why a lot of cat fans are not even concerned about her whereabouts, about her well-being and where and what not and what is literally happening. No one is questioning. It's astonishing that even the so-called cat fans are not concerned about her welfare. They really should be asking questions as Cousin Stone Powellers has shown themselves to be untrustworthy and lacking in credibility. Where is Cat? It has taken the mail so long for them to get to question this app. They now have this whole story and questioning what if the Cousin Stone Powellers is lying. It really has taken them edges to come out and question that. Thus, literally tells a lot. And my question starts like, why would they? And if they are doing so, that means there are instructions. And from who? Probably or possibly William. And so, question just gets back there. Where is kept? What's not happening and what's not? Funny thing enough, there'll be no one to answer our start. I'll sooner believe a Prince William and his team are telling lies about Cat Middleton than the alternative. He has from telling lies and throwing others under the bars to cover his lies. They are getting to realize thus. And I remember starting this on my previous videos whereby whatever is happening with William or with Kate is just a whole confirmation of what the Duke of Sussex stated, but no one was wanted to believe it. People were like, you know what? They are just betraying the royal family. They are just kind of trying to get attention from the public. Look what they have to deal with now. It's just been lies after lies after lies. Led by the next in phone, the higher, brings me back to my whole point that William has a lot to do with the disappearance of Kat. If we just get it straight, Kat has not been seen since last year's Christmas. Questioning or just getting over, you know, he was, she was unwell, admitted to the hospital, no photo discharged from the clinic no photo and you want to make people believe this notion that she's recovering because at some point there was this whole story that cat is recovering cat is doing okay cat is working from home she can't wait to get back to work then just a few days ago there was this whole story of a william not wanting cat to to kind of get back to royal duties and that brings us to that whole question is uh, William divorcing Kat or is William leaving Kat in that manner? No confirmation about the same but one thing that is very much evident the entire monarchy is uh, at its at its uh, rock state like whereby things are just falling apart. It's turning out to be miserable on daily Buses. Let's just get to see what Kaiser had to say about the same. The mail. What if Catherine Stone Powellers is lying about everything around Prince William? For the very first time, I said it on my previous video that the Daily Mail, the Daily Fail, are lacking Harry and Meghan at their front pages, at their front cover magazines at the royal section for the very, very first time. It's turning out to be a surprise to some of us. When Cousin Stone Powellers has lost the Daily Mail, like it's getting to that point, you know, they really have nothing left. The Mail represents Prince William and Kate's power best. Older, conservative, recreationary, anti-work, anti-immigrant racist. If those people are not on Will and Kate's side, no one is like literally no one is think 
things won't turn out to be good for William. He better get ready for what is awaiting him. Because the way things are going, the way things are falling apart, he'll have a lot of explanations to make and he'll have a lot to deal with. So, I've been watching uh, the male's coverage on the Mother's Day photo scandal and it is fascinating. They are calling out the waltzers uh, pretty thoroughly and uh, in some interesting ways. Several of the male's columnists have suggested or said outright that Kat's apology for the photo editing is nothing about bullshit. And uh, it's just the palace throwing Kat under the bus for their cock up. Several of those columnists are basically begging the Cousinstone Palace clone show to tighten their operation because they all look like complete fools in this. One of my favorite pieces was the male's Lee's journals are basically having a come to Jesus' revelation. What everything around William and Kat is a lie. I'm loving this on daily basis. Because I'm like, it's kind of them coming or waking up from their slumber and just coming back to realization that William has a lot. And William has been doing a lot. And that there is a lot uh, that's happening behind the bars that no one is addressing a thing about. Just watching uh, all these shenanigans uh, working or just revolving or just happening just brings us to that point of William isn't worth it. Cousin Stone Palace itself has failed. The staffers over there are so much in apt, I can say, as a what Richard K as I started on the previous, you know, articles. It's very much evident they themselves are getting impatient with their favorite ones. That's why I'm saying it's getting uh, from bad to worse. William needs to get ready for what he decided to throw himself to. He has a lot to deal with. Such a rich things of shenanigans. And I cannot believe I'm saying this. But Liz Jones is making some point. I also believe that Kat's apology and signature were forged. I also believe that Kat was not the one creating the whole thing of image comp comp composite. I also believe that William and his staff think that the public is too stupid to see what they are doing. We will see if the male keeps this kind of energy for long, but it doesn't feel like something has been revocably broken here. Things are just turning out to be a complete mess. William has truly tr prone himself at a, I don't know, but I bet he, he's ready to dance to the tune. Because if the male doesn't have, if the male doesn't support his uh, nonsense, his, uh, his uh, stupidity, because I believe uh, there are among us there's other social media outlets that are so much supportive and just entertaining his nonsense. Now, if the male keeps this energy going, then William has a lot. I don't know what's your take. I don't know what you're thinking on this. Kindly just let me know on the comment section. Hoping to see you guys in our next videos.